Hello, I'm Ros Atkins. Thank you very much for having me here at Vicky Frames. I'm the presenter of Outside Source. What are you doing here at Vicky Frames? Well, I'm doing a couple of things, apart from just soaking up the atmosphere and talking to as many people as I possibly can. On Thursday, I'm taking part in a panel which is looking at the future of news in a digital world. And then on Friday, we're more looking at the, the numbers and the business models, and I'm moderating a panel on digital subscriptions, but more broadly, how news and other media redefines their business models to make sure we're still making money. Two ways in which the future of news as we know it will change. Well, the big way is that a lot more news is on demand. There was a time, go back 15 years, when the vast majority of us would turn on the radio or the television to, to get news. And of course, through online, whether that's websites, but increasingly through mobile phones, we get what we want when we want it. And what we want tends to be smaller chunks of information available to us in a non-linear form. So I can explore one issue in depth if I want to, or if I want to get the headlines, I can simply skim through things. And so. That's been the big shift. I'd say there's a second shift, and actually your inaugural sessions just alluded to this. Video is coming in a huge way, and so if the first shift in news was to digital on-demand content, I think we're now shifting to digital video on-demand, and video is going to be the dominant uh, element of, of digital news in the next four or five years. So that's one way. How does uh, uh, this change uh, you know, videos as they were delivered in the traditional formats? Well, I think the kind of videos we're making, I mean, there's two arguments. One, you can say you make videos for the digital arena and you make videos for television and the two should never meet. I think, you know, increasingly there's an understanding that TV needs to feel at ease in a digital world. And so increasingly at BBC News, we're producing videos that work online, whether they're posted on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or on the BBC News app, but also work perfectly well in the environment of, say, the program I host called Outside Source, which is very digitally focused. So. Digital is changing the videos we're making, not just for a digital arena, but it's actually changing the way we make news across the board. How will the experience of uh, a news consumer change, uh, say, in the next uh, two years or so? First of all, we, the BBC and the industry more generally, whether it's in India or elsewhere, need to be very supportive of, of pushes to make sure that the internet is available to everyone. Assuming you've got the internet, what you're going to get, well, that's driven in, that's changing in two ways. One is you can get what you want when you want it. The second is where you go to get it is changing. So even five years ago, I think the news media was very focused on what I'd call destinations. So you open up the BBC News app or you open up the BBC News website. Now there's still a huge chunk of people who want that, but there's an increasingly large amount of people who want the information we've got, but they don't want to come to us to get it. They want to go onto whichever social networks they're choosing to use, Facebook and Twitter being two obvious ones. And so we need to change to match that and make sure that we're not just making things that work for people, accessing primarily through their mobile phone, but we also make sure we're putting it where they want to go. Uh, two ways in which, uh, you know, uh, better internet accessibility, uh, you know, will change BBC's plans in India. Well, I think there are a couple of ways that, that digital helps us. One is that we can reach people, we can reach more people, because anyone who's got a phone that's on the internet can access us. We're in 30, 40 million homes in India, but we're not in all Indian homes. Every home that has the internet can access BBC News. So that's the, the first thing. It's giving us access to a greater number of people in India, and that's fantastic. The second thing is that the way the audiences feed into the news that we make is really fundamentally changing what we do in two ways. One is we can far better understand the news that people want and the news that they're consuming. And again, I've just heard this alluded to, data is huge, not just for Bollywood or for radio here in India, it's massive for news media as well because it gives us information about what people want. And then the second thing is, if you allow your audience to connect with you, well, powerful things can happen because BBC has got more journalists around the world than anyone else, but we can't match the might of the audience, which is on a scale of hundreds of millions of people. So there's a potential there for us to better understand India and better cover India through the involvement of our viewers and our digital users. And again, the mobile phone allows us to make that connection. Finally, one thing that you're hoping to take away from this conference. Well, I want to understand Indian media. We have a big 
my show Outside Source has a big audience here, BBC World News more generally has a big audience and primarily my relationship with people is a digital one and lots of viewers are in touch with me and we to and fro about the state of your nation and about the state of the world but nothing really replicates the chance to be here and to talk to people so if I leave 50 frames with one thing it will be with a better understanding of the country that I'm broadcasting to and the media environment I'm broadcasting in.